<laughs> Connecting. Pop up a Twitch. There I am. Yay. All right. So everything looks good. Oh, uh, welcome back to Project Zomboy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, unfortunately enough, you know, things have changed. <laughs> uh, last time, you know, we, we found ourselves in a scenario where we finally got the water working. Um, water was a super thing and whatnot. We did find figure out our situation in that particular case, which was interesting. If we look up here, you'll note that I need to clean all this up and blah and go from there. Hello, PRMR. Uh, I see that you have popped on and whatnot, but yeah, we, uh, we're in a different place. I will go ahead and say right now during this recording, I will not have the standard um alert chats like pop up on the screen unfortunately enough and it's because like my obs did something weird um after an update to my computer obs was like hey you can't use these features anymore so uh i'm gonna have to figure out that but i didn't want to kill my stream for the night so i will see the chats anybody who's on uh twitch will see the chats but for the recording and for on youtube nobody's gonna see those chats that's really just the issue and if you're watching the video of course that's gonna suck as well so if you're not on twitch you won't see chat meh <laughs> not a big deal again it's one night um i'll do some testing after you know the update and figure out how to fix that but yeah if i have to move uh stream software if i have to downgrade which i'm not a big fan of downgrading my software um i'd like to be at the latest greatest and go from there so a little bit of work um i should have done testing before beforehand and i say that it, it, it i didn't expect this you know i and i should really really pay attention to when twitch updates happen so just so i know what this is going to look like um we did set up our water inside of the bathroom so i think i'll make it a point to wash myself in the bathroom specifically and i'll use that water there but outside would be my drinking water and cooking water so yeah ah uh. Speaking of that, the man does deserve to eat. We put him through the ringer on, you know, getting everything set up. Oh, uh, so what's for dinner tonight? Looking at our, uh, we're, we're still losing calories, you know, and that that's okay. Really not that big of a deal because we have plenty of bread. So since we have plenty of bread to go around, we'll just randomly grab one and start slicing and then we'll make some burgers. Uh, yeah, yeah. So before we talk about the plans for the evening, I think, you know, we'll just first set ourselves up with some food and go to bed and we'll talk about it in the morning. It's already January 8th in Project Zomboy. We have made it past the, you know, hump of six months in game, which I think is amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. So how are we doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who is up, you know, watching the recording later, uh, hello to you. Oh no, why did this happen? Oh no, oh no. Started making a sandwich over there. It currently just has hot, hot sauce and ketchup on it, which is ridiculous. I will fix that here in a moment. Oh, uh, my mushroom sandwich obviously deserves more than just mushrooms on it, which is what happened there. So what can you do? Not gonna put garlic on this one. All right, so I guess we'll prepare our sandwich properly. I'm gonna come over here like this and just see, of course, it's gonna be a mushroom sandwich. And I guess they could be morning. Yeah, they'll eat a sandwich in the morning too. The things that concern you, a quality sandwich. Yes, I definitely believe in treating our survivor. He deserves to have a good meal. I mean, uh, it, it ain't easy to survive in Project Zomboid, and a lot of us put our people through the ringer. So, if you can, you know, treat your your survivor well, <laughs> and go from there. That said, the man is hungry. Like, like I said, I've did a lot of work, so let's get him some food. From here on in, I don't think we'll need to do any sterilization of water. So I do need to decide where I start putting these cooking pots, and yeah. Kobe, what's up, dude? What's going on? Oh, uh, nice of you to join. I saw you had gave us a follow on Twitch and on YouTube. So cheers, bro. Oh, man. Uh, 
empty bottle yes water bottle so uh, actually funny enough i think i'm gonna stop like keeping loads of water bottles filled up because i'm good on water now like we're in a renewable state do you have enough fresh food uh I'm thinking of could we hit the farmland or somewhere once we do some foraging good question so our refrigerator is a little laxing. We're at 15.91 kilos. Got a little bit of food, a lot of food that's going stale. Uh, no other way of saying that. And of course we have things in the freezer. The freezer ain't looking great though. I'm gonna have to cook this bread eventually. So that's gonna be a thing. Oh, uh, adventure to a new farm. Like, well, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we got to talk about, you know, what comes next before we end our 200 days. And that's true. Uh, let me get a workout in real quick before we get into planning operations. Oh, there we go. Exercise. Still working on that fitness skill. Let's see if we do hit level seven before then. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. That's okay. Though. Found plants near the mall. Uh, yep. And what's the floor next to the bed? What do you mean? Oh, what's on the floor there? It looks like scissors and thread. So, not super worried about that. Oh, uh, hang on a sec. So, rest the body so we can catch our breath. See if we do... Nope, we won't be doing sit-ups. We're just gonna go to sleep. That's fine. Um, okay. So, it is a call out to say that, you know, we're running low on fresh food. We have lots, lots, and lots, and lots, and lots, and lots of preserved food, which is fine, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should go through your stocks. If you're capable of using fresh food, you should use fresh food. True statement, right? Now, that said, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're in a position or we should think of ourselves in a position to go looking for fresh food. Uh, it is snowing. <laughs> we don't like to you know be out in the snow and snow similar to rain has an effect on um your foraging outcomes so realistically speaking even though we're a max forager going out here and be like i'm gonna look for fruits and veg it actually has a negative i think it's a negative 90 something percent uh opportunity to find different things so in the snow bad foraging ain't gonna work <laughs> um in the rain, you, you get some work, but you know, it's specific to different categories. So blah, that said, today just isn't the day for forging, but we should start filling the fridge again. Uh, kill count. Yeah, kill count. Good question. So we're at 15,842. Yes, as you called out. Um, and that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. So at the end of our 100 days, we did two things when we were in west point at the end of our 100 days we decided to go around the entire streets of the town and kill all the zombies that we could see that were on the roads we did not go through the last of the houses that were over here and i take that as a that was fine because realistically speaking unless you walk up to the house it doesn't spawn zombies so i'm not worried about that but any zombie that we could see on the street we killed so that definitely happened in west point however at the end of that, you know, we still had time left over. So we made our way from this bridge up here. We just got done killing a ton of zombies on this road. And that said, we have officially, I'm going to say cleared this road. Yes, there might be some migration from the town that's over here and the little bit of people who might be in this trailer park. But realistically speaking, yeah, we killed almost 2000 zombies on this road. So, yeah, I have a thought and it's twofold. One, before we end our 200 days, I want to go back to the mall and finish clearing out the ball. We actually killed pretty much the first floor. Uh, we didn't go into the back rooms and we'll do that and then work our way through the second you know, the, the second story. I think there are three accessible stories um, that have stores in the mall. So I was thinking clear out the ball and take that as the achievement for you know our 200 days. However, working to the one year survived, I'm actually leaning towards clearing Louisville. Now, it'll still be the streets of Louisville because to go through every one of these houses would take forever. It would be longer than one year, but it's a thought and it can give us a goal to work towards. Um, on top of that, since we're kind of working on being a super survivor, we'll max out the combat skills. We've already maxed the axe and I just got to really get past like falling back on the axe. I need to do better with that. Um, so if I work on my lawn blade when I find katanas and, and uh, machetes, yay, I can legitimately work on my short blade. I have plenty of uh, 
what's it called? Meat, meat cleavers, but I keep using them to make spears. <laughs> and the spear is a legit weapon that we can work on more so than the short blade. But I was thinking that, you know, hey, I got to think about how that next year is going to work out. So we'll hopefully max our fitness and strength and finish up the combat skills because I have every survivor skill that I want. I'm never in a trap. I don't like fishing because it's fish and we're vegan and you know that. Um, so yeah, yeah. The agility ones, I, I'm not going to sprint around and hope for the best. I'm not going to sit here in this mode all day to try to max nimble. I, that's just not going to happen for me. So as we fight, we'll get nimble, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, you know, you have to have goals in Project Zomboid, right? Is there anything uh, for the house that you would want from the mall? No, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thought. So I'm going to replace the wood oven. This antique oven is wonderful. I love it. It's a great tool to have. I'm going to move it somewhere. I'm probably going to put it in the bedroom just to provide heat. You know, maybe. I don't know. Thinking about it. But uh, we're going to bring in an electric system. That also means that I need to get done with building the rest of our solar panels. And that would be, you know, I can do a lot of this today. Like, hey, yeah, I can make solar panels. True, I got two ready to go. I need more bars, which we did bring back. So we don't have an excuse. Um, and of course we can get a tall lamp. That That is true. That is definitely true if we can pick one up. So little things, little things. That said, let's go ahead and grab our sandwich. Um, I do think what we'll do right now is go ahead and light this fire. Ooh, wait, what? Do I have think no, it's just trying to take from here, isn't it? Yep. Add fuel, add my planks. And stuff for the light for the curtain to areas outside the house. Confused. And the stuff for light. For certain Oh, yes. Um exterior lights for our camp. Definitely true. I said camp base. However you decide you want to phrase it. Cool. Uh, I need to drop some of these bowls. No reason to carry all of these anymore. So, yay. Good there. Keep the nails. Um, like I said before, I need to get out of the habit of using those hand axes, but it's always good to have weapons. So, hard to argue with. I'm going to lose some of this food. It, it's just a reality. So, got to get behind that. That's fine. But we try it. We try it. That said, maybe even though we haven't farmed, not once, doesn't mean that we couldn't be prepared for farming if we wanted to be. So I'm going to do something real quick just so that way I can start, you know, anything that does go bad, we will use in the future. There we go. And then we'll grab the planks that we need. I don't think that was enough. That was just three. Yeah. Four. Five. And six. Yes, I'm going to set up composter real quick because, you know, get usage out of everything possible. I'll just stick it right here for now um, because, again, it's one of those things where to have it and not need it is fine. But if we do find ourselves deciding to, what, uh, do some farming, set up a farm somewhere, we'll have fertilizer uh, for all the food that does go bad so nothing wrong with that you know preparation is key to survival right do you like cleaning up our area so these will go into the wood stove antique stove ah, add fuel planks so another call out real quick uh in my area we have a storm <laughs> now it's mostly wind and a little bit of rain and whatnot but every time we've had storms, my stream can get, you know, unstable a little bit and or other things happen. So if one, you hear the wind in the background, I'm sorry. If two, you know, the stream gets canceled or cut for some odd reason, I'll find a makeup day. Uh, Fantasy Gamer, hey, what's going on? I won't be able to watch in church. Bye. I hope you don't die. Word. <laughs> Enjoy service. Agreed. Agreed. I appreciate that. And, you know, homie popped in and was like, yo, God is cool, but I need to say what's up. Like, appreciate it. All right. Uh, we're going to get rid of the stale. 
we're, we're going to start getting rid of anything that is stale. We have standards. We have standards. And we're going to start living by those standards. Because we can. So, anything that's stale, we're going to pop into. Yeah, we're, we're hurting on food that ain't stale. So, fair point. We're going to start moving things out of the freezer. Because organization has worked out well for us. And I think we're, we're still solid. I do think we're still solid on fresh food. I'm going to cook that uh, bread here soon, or at least some of it, not all of it. At this point, we'll need it right. Sledgehammer. No, we don't need a sledgehammer anymore. Um, at least for not for what we had originally intended to use it for. Having a sledgehammer is great because let's say I decide later I want to knock down a wall somewhere. Uh, just having that ability to make that call is going to be beneficial. But at the moment, nah. Not us. All right, organization done. Now then, next part, I'm going to disassemble the stairs. Now, it doesn't mean we're not going to keep, you know, a stair set up because it's important to be able to access this side. But I do think, actually, we can do that from this side here. We should be able to walk over, I think. But I know there's a hole somewhere. Oh, well, of course, I'm an idiot. I blocked this off and can't reach. It. Nah. All right. That'd be good. Well, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I think be creative. If I carpentry floor floor, wouldn't I? I didn't get any planks on because I'm stupid. There we go. Okay, so we've got the flooring going if I carpentry and wood floor. Just put one right there so we can get around. Put one more right there so we can get around. And put one there. Uh, all right, so question, do I fall? No, no, no. Oh, there it is. All right, so that hole is one space, it looks like, which is the space where that window's at. So if that's true, that means I should be able to go exactly for where you can see and then cross over. That's my thought process. And if I'm right, disco, I still can access this area. Awesome. And then I disassemble floor just to make that look right, because the overhang doesn't make any sense. And we're golden? Can I reach that? Or is it just gonna fly forever? Nah, I can reach it. All right, and we're all set. So yeah, I won't make another staircase. I can just use that, and that was stupid. Did I hurt myself? No. Nah. Drop the nails here for now, so I don't have to think about it. And let's just take the old walk. Okay, so again, before, like I'll say, that uh, I prefer. I like your. Hmm, I prefer that so that way it's not like you're in your face for another set of stairs. And you're gonna repair the black truck. Yes, all things will happen. All things will happen. Oh. Shotgun shells, lots of spears. Do I have more shotgun shells? No, I have. Oh, wait, I have stuff in the, the house. Strong condition shotgun with the ammo strap. Put that on the back. Put my axe away, which is pretty much going to break anyway, but fair enough. Screwdriver goes in, hammer goes in, solid goes in. Close cat. Spears. We'll go in the truck as well. Get there. All right, so preparations are almost complete. 
complete. Oh, man. Make sure you drink water, coffee, tea, whatever you do to hydrate. Yes, I'm fully aware that coffee and tea um, does slightly dehydrate you because you need water to filter those things. You still should have a liquid and that's okay. Box. So I got two boxes of shotgun shells and 12 shells that are loose. Question being, so I don't like the choke. I remember that. The choke doesn't have a strong spread, but it gets you more damage on a single zombie. Oh, Raymond Man of Many Skills. If you had much time with hobby or skill, you would try to master. I mean, I'm on board with forging, honestly. Oh. Um, so like in game, you just know every plant right up front, right? You know, it's like, yes, I know exactly what to be able to find because you're an herbalist. In real life, it takes a lot of time and training to understand what is edible, you know, right off the off jump, what is not uh, within your biome. And I say that because every state has a different biome. So that said, you know, uh, the East Coast has everything from woodlands to marshes, uh, mountains, mountains and ridges, etc. You know, so there's a lot of different types of things that are on these coasts that would not be found in other places. In that same contrast, if you go to the Midwest, you know, you, you'll find grasslands and plains, um, and that will also give you a diversity that you wouldn't find on these coasts. So I, I have this conversation with somebody, you're not going to find oranges or uh, <laughs> various other types of citruses or avocados growing in, in Maryland, for example. It's just not going to happen. One, our climate is not designed for it, etc. So we have to import those things. Like I would love to know um, every plant, edible or not, that it just grows in my state. <laughs> oh, New York, good example, very cold climate at times but it can turn dry and so on and so forth like what times of year would i best be able to find food or do i need to do agriculture and is it really sustainable like those are questions that i'd love to be able to answer to somebody immediately so if i had the hobby time for it it would be foraging 100 100 percent because i think it's useful <laughs> i think it's useful anyway um so I'm getting my, myself prepared and I realized I just walked a circle, but I did want to check the perimeter and see how I felt about things. So we've got our shotgun. We have hand axes. We've got shells. Um, I wanted to cook this stuff. What was I doing? Because there is a notch plank somewhere. Where is that notch plank? And or rags. It's the rags I'm going to use. Aren't it? Yep. Dirty rags. We're going to light the fire with dirty rags. And then we get to cook our bread. After cooking our bread, we will doll it all up so that way it's good to go. Reason why we're going to focus on the bread is one, I want to cook it before it goes bad. Um, two, it will help me work out our weight loss. So, yay. We're not speaking of time, so haven't had any bread this week sad i'm sorry i am sorry remember you're bread fiend as you've pointed out so there it is okay so one didn't cook what <laughs> interesting and nothing burned and i'll just eat one straight out there it goes fresh bread I don't think I can do anything with it at this point. I just made straight bread, didn't I? Yep. Yep, I can slice it and do something with it from there. But now I just have a whole bunch of bread, which is okay. Like I said before, I intend to use the bread to help us balance out, you know, our weight loss. We've done lots of killing, so. Uh, yeah, we had the heat going, so 70 degrees. And we're all set. Okay, so let's pop that in there because we're not leaving today, I don't think. 
I'm trying to prepare myself. So we're going to run through the shells that we have for sure. Like that's my first thought um, when we get to the mall. And if it turns out that we can clear majority of the mall with just a shotgun, that's great. We'll swap from the shotgun and handguns. I think I'm going to run through the ammo that I like. And then from there, we will switch to weapons. It'll be spears first and it'll work our way into the meat cleavers and then axes and we'll finish it up that way. We're going uh, directly to the second floor. We're gonna do a, we'll do a sweep of the first floor. Cause we, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I did or did not clear it all out. Cause I'm not too super sure. I do feel like I've done well, but I don't know for sure. Um, do I have nine millimeter gun somewhere? I know I have a Magnum somewhere, but I could use the nine millimeters. And gun, those are rifles. And that looks like a Magnum. I'll put you on the ground real quick. Revolver, 45. Which one are you at the top? Good there. All right, shotgun shells are set. By grabbing those other ones, I can load up. And no, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I'll be starting with the shotgun. So we'll just open those shells up as well. Yeah, it didn't open that all the way. There it is. Yes, uh, guns are loud, so we'll be at more risk for zombies and whatnot. Uh, so them jumping from the top, which is why starting at the top makes sense. Anything from the bottom might come up, but at the same time, it's just funny to see them drop from the top. I don't have a M9 pistol. Doesn't look like I am still checking around. If I can find one M9 pistol, I'll take those, but I've got lots of magazines. Oh, I got two M9s. All right, sweet. There's one with iron sights. So we'll take you and then we'll get our magazine set up. Three magazines, you think that'll be enough? Let's find out. And what we put you holster right. Number four, see how that feels. Okay. Reload and take it inside. So 25 rounds there, a few boxes. Don't know how much I get out of the boxes. Got 85 rounds for the nine millimeter. I think we start with the nine millimeter instead, just because I've never used it. Uh, okay. Wait. These magazines are full. No, one of them was. Okay, so insert 15 rounds. If you had access to any gun, so what would be my choice? I mean, I, I mentioned before I like the Magnum, and it's just because the Magnum has that wonderful ability of not having to worry about magazines. Oh, uh, magazines are nice, yes, because you can preload a, a bunch of rounds, but once you run through your magazines, you already see that whole reloading process is annoying. So, yeah. All right, let's check if the magazine I had inserted had bullets. Yes, yeah, so we've got lots of rounds here. Uh, so yeah, if things go weird or wrong, I would have to stop for a long period of time and then load up my magazines and then get back to blasting with the nine millimeter. So that's the only reason why I feel some type of way about the nine mil. Um, yeah. Okay, so 9mm is ready to go. My flashlight, I can live with that, but I'll get an extra battery just in case. No, I have batteries in the truck. I forgot. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Bread. Remember, we're eating bread. I didn't realize I didn't throw away one of those stale pieces of bread, so I'll just eat that. Oh, 
the one with sunflowers in it too. There we go. Come on, man, get those calories. There it is. We have stopped weight loss. Yay. So we'll work on boosting it or gaining weight soon. And the next question I have, I suppose, is how bad is the drug? Like other than the windows, realistically speaking, how bad is the drug? The hood is shot. Ooh, suspension is looking bad. I don't really care about the radio. So repairing the hood, if I find a metal sheet, a full metal sheet will do it. Eight screws. No, you just want propane and a metal sheet. 49% repair. So two metal sheets with a propane tank. Should be fine. Okay. Do I have metal sheets? I do have metal sheets. All right, what else do I need? Uh, propane torch. Oh, I'm sorry, I already have one here. Yay. Have Katana. I think I'm prepared. Like, for war in this truck. I just need to get there. One, kill a bunch of people. Two, I survive. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let me... Uh, let me get the metal sheets real quick. We'll repair the truck like it's been called out. I have sanitized rags just in case I get cut going through glass or something. I have one thing of comfy, which is fine. I don't really expect to have to repair myself or first aid, but we'll see how that goes. And metal sheets. So I said two metal sheets is the way I want to go with that. And they are heavy. Rip. Preparation is key. Now again, we have to still make it there. And that's the super annoying part. It is a drive to get to the mall from here. Um, I don't recall what our gas situation is like either. So, all right, we repaired that bad boy. And hood, good. Do it one more time. Hood, decent. The hood should be looking nice. Everything else, I don't care. <laughs> Headlights would be interesting to fix. The tires are looking pretty low. I don't want to have to lose it, but there's no real reason to do anything else. I'd have to find new tires if I remember correctly. Uh, air pressure wise, they're generally okay, so that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so quick call out for anybody who is tracking. January 25th is the day that we are done. All right, that would be 200 days survived. So January 25th is the target day. We are on January 9th as we speak now. So making that call. Get my water. I remember there's a water jug at our tent location, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's water along the way. So if we need to make a stop, we'll be able to do that. And on top of which, we'll pull out the bread. I underestimated how much food I needed last time. So this time, I'll just take it all. And we can leave it in the truck. I don't care if it goes bad. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. So we'll drive in the evening, essentially, right? To make it to... I think we'll stop at the firehouse. Like that'll be our checkpoint location. We'll either we'll probably sleep in the car. We can sleep inside actually. We can sleep inside. Yeah. Stick the bread here on the chair. Good to go. Let me grab another a few couple ah, a few batteries for the flashlight. Got five. I got five. That's enough. What? I'm gonna grab two. I don't have enough to grab one. And another quick call out. I will not use the guns until we make it to um, the mall. So the guns are for the mall specifically. Everything else will be handled with some type of hand weapon. So the drive, the drive. Mini fridge and lunchbox. I mean, I could see that. I, I dig that. That's fair. Okay, so I'm not using a different, oh, uh, you know, method or route to get to. Excuse you. 
Oh, I'm so mad that I just fixed the hood and you had to be there around the corner. You already bloodied up the spot. Just fix the hood. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> not using another route simply because we've been consistently going up and down this route, which means it's clearer and I don't want to get stuck trying to fight zombie after zombie. Um, again, you know, through another direction. So Death Valley, Death Road here has been the place that we've killed quite literally thousands of zombies. So we should have the best success here. Oh, hi guys. I'm going to leave you alone. I said, I don't mind that you're here spread out onesie twosie, but if I see a group, I will stop and murder you. Oh, uh, so be aware. I see a couple over there. Driving at night, fighting at night, you know, we'll have to deal with that if it turns into that, but uh, I don't think it will. Honestly, I have a really good feeling. I'm having a solid good feeling. And it's not Sunday. Sundays are usually there are hard day. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like I kill y'all. Good. Not good. Kill zombies. Good. I'm good. If you guys are good, yeah, let's get out of here. As our current level wood short blade is level three. Uh, it is level three. It's going to be the lowest level of the weapons that we will use <laughs> along the way. So, yo, can't see. Don't like that. Don't like that. It's just a really weird spot. So, yeah, I agree. It is dark. I don't think I want to get into like massive horde fighting at this time. So. And I was just considering it when I was killing that, you know, group of five just now. I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, maybe I should just drive past them, get to the fire station, pull up for the night. And then in the morning, you know, we'll work our way over to the mall um, and just see how it goes. The mall, my intention is to start with the nine mil. I get some precision shots going. Oh, my God. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Anyway, all right, precision shots going, which was, is going to be my call there. It'll attract more zombies to group up. And then when I switch to the shotgun, it lets me, you know, mow down larger groups. So uh, I do plan on hopefully doing it in one day. If I can, you know, clear out the remainder of the mall in one day, that'd be amazing. And I say remainder because we still killed thousands of zombies in the mall, too. Yeah, I don't, I can't really explain what happened with the driving situation uh, earlier, so it just happened. <laughs> ah, God. And again, we just got done repairing the truck, so there are a lot of zombies on this road again. What is happening? Uh, I, I will sacrifice the hood. Oh, uh, we repaired the hood, which protects the engine when you mow down a zombie. So, yay. I am not driving fast enough to kill most zombies in one shot, so I'm not killing zombies with the car is kind of a point. Oh. Uh, but they've been spreading out, you know, we've been killing massive amounts of them coming through here, so it, it does make sense. Um, yeah. It's cold, I know, dude. We're almost inside, we're almost there. This is the fire station. What I'm going to do is like I did before, I'm going to pull the vehicle into this back area because we have, you know, full protection with this fence and then anything that comes around, we will kill. Turn off the headlights, turn off the car, get out lights and like I said, everything that's here will murder. And as things calm down, we will, I think I'll go inside to sleep. Like there is a second floor. 
that we've already cleared out. So, yeah. I know he's tired, which is kind of not fair for me to be doing this to him. I get that. All right, maybe I should switch the action just to get to the night. No, I just got done saying that I'm using that as a crutch, and it's true. Everything is a crutch. <laughs> This is a survivor for you. You can have a hunting knife. I have no room for a hunting knife. All right, here we go. What's that? Here, the zombies still coming. Good. Uh, you're not gonna sleep in the tent. First floor. There is no tent in the first floor for this building. Um. The mall has a tent, yes, but I don't want to drive all the way to the mall because there's still a large amount of intersections from here to there that we can get caught up on. So we're not gonna deal with that. Uh, the plan is to, can you get, why are you inside? Did I close this? Yeah, I close it, all right, cool. Yeah, my plan is to go upstairs because in the fire, every fire station, there's beds and cots where the firemen would sleep um, for what their shifts and whatnot, especially late night crew. So, yeah, I'll be using the spots upstairs. What's happening with the spawns in this? Oh, I remember I didn't like clear out everything on the first floor. Like there was a lot of noises happening and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I was just, I left. So now I have to deal with the consequences of that. Um, okay. Oh my God. My visibility is terrible. I remember where all these people were, they were inside the gym and we just decided not to mess with that. And they broke down this door as you can see here and start coming in and I was like I'm gone so yeah again not a big deal the upstairs should be nice and clear and we should have a room that has a door which will serve as a line of defense as well that will come fighting through if it comes to that don't think it will yes break room area Uh-huh. Where are the uh, beds and cots though? Crap. This is the showers? Yeah, that's the showers. That's not going to work. What is this? Ah, all right. I can sleep in the medical room. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Let me get some rest. So banging on our front door there, or the door protecting us at the moment, would wake us up, so yay. All set. No issues. See? Always have a plan. Always have a plan. I got some bread on me so I can start with a nice loaf of bread. You know, just bite straight into that bad boy. Hello, sir. You saw us, huh? What is happening here? Game. 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 All right, so now it's 1-10, January 10th. We now officially have 15 days before 200 days are all done, so. Okay, so looking at my utility belt, I don't have an axe on me. I need to fix that. We're good? We're not good. We're good. Yeah. 
Yeah. I went from repaired and fixed to destroyed. Let's see how bad it is, actually. Oh. <laughs> it was at 74%. Now it's at uh, 51. Crazy. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, uh, I'm going to stick one on our utility belt. Always like to have a axe because that will always be our, you know, oh snap, we're being overrun. <laughs> Pull out the axe. Um, having, you know, max damage with a weapon item is going to be your save in a crutch. In a crutch. Now, other than walking into the mall, probably dropping some of the food and water bottles, I think. We'll go straight into killing. I don't think we need to do much for setup, which is nice. Um, and as far as like loot goes, I don't think I need anything particular. We have basically everything we need in the base, which is nice. Um, obviously food, you know, for the purposes of making extended meals or bread, you know, flour, blah, those things would be nice to find, but it, it's not a necessity. Um, we're stocked up on those things. So, yeah, I feel like it's a drive in and kind of get started for the morning. It's a nice and clear drive, though. I was definitely believing that was going to be worse than that. Okay, so five meat cleavers, 21 um, spears in the trunk, along with how many axes? Seven. Uh, and a katana. <laughs> I've got everything that I think I need. Honestly, what I think will 100% happen is when we switch to the, um, I'm going to put this in trunk, please. There we go. When we switch to the shotgun, once we're all out of bullets with the shotgun, it will turn to the katana for sure. So we'll go outside to the katana and use that to finish it up. So that said, let me check the hallway before I do anything else. All right, all the bodies that were in here, you know, have despawned. It's been that long, really? We done that much work. <laughs> and we had a bunch of zombies on this corner. They've been despawned too. We've done that much work, goodness gracious. You have to respect how much killing Raymond has done up until this point. That said, what do you think? Shout or just come in and start blazing? I don't know. I think I'm going to start shouting. Anything that's in corners or in places I can't see, come down. The condition of the katana is 100%. Ready? Oh no. It's four shots? I don't like that. I have rung the dinner bell. Come. <laughs> Come. Come see me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know we cleared this area for the most part. Oh, that's sad. Really? That was it? Didn't do something. Reload, dude. Good now? There it is. Uh, magazine. Magazine. That's why. Alright, so. Had to pull out magazine and then load magazine. There you go. I'm gonna hold it like that. You down, you down, you down. Oh, again. Pull you out. Grab you real quick. Good to go. going through these bullets quicker than I expected. That sucks. Nine millimeter, not impressed. I'm gonna lie. Get 
think that this man would catch some headshots, bro. Come on. Where's your cod? <laughs> hmm. Come get it. All right, I think I have gone through my magazines. Yep, 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 yep. yep. And now he's loading bullets manually into the magazine. I didn't like that. Nope, 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 nope. Good. Please. Finish, dude. I don't know what's in you, but oh, it's just a butter knife. That's super missing. There it is. They're still coming. Yes, come out of your hidey hole. If you hear all of this bullet fire. Oh, I said that. Gunfire is a better thing. Oh. Both that got left. Only 10 more outside of the magazine I'm currently loading. So, last 25 rounds, and then we're switching it up again. Already very disappointed in that belt. And they're wrong. Our, our, our gun skill can be better, true. But, I mean, take a look for a second. We're aiming level 5, working on level 6. Like, the fact that that's how this has worked out is kind of annoying. Ooh, I think I messed up. Is it? Oh, man. Yo, you could have done better with that shot. Can I can I help? Can I help? You don't want to be stuck there, right? Oh, annoying. All right. Let's uh, check the rest of the frame. Did you just jump down? Perfect. That was a good shot. Oh, I forgot that the survivalist store is over here. So there should be um, bullets that I don't have. What's going on, Misfit? How's it going? We are back in the mall and we are clearing. Like that's kind of the goal at the moment. We're just going to clear the mall. All right, all right. All right. I honestly feel like I want to bring some of this back to the base, like just for organizational sake. Yes, yeah, so I've got shotgun shells in here. Awesome. So we'll be taking those. Loosed and nut. Uh, 45 rounds. I saw more shotgun shells. Lots of shotgun shells. Perfect. There's an ammo strap. Oh, sweet. Can I equip it or is it? Ew, we modify it to something. Interesting. I thought it was one of those that you wear. Not a big deal. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pistol. Move, repair. Thought there was, I can't add the ammo strap to that. Which, I mean, fair enough. That, that's fine. Our, how's my gun? 10 rounds. Good to go. Okay. All right, well... Based on that, it might be holstering soon. That actually was, again, super underwhelming. Oh, uh, but I have cleared a lot of the mall. <laughs> well before we got here with the guns, so fair enough. Definitely had hoped that they would come pouring out a lot faster. You know, you would think you'd hear a gun in the mall very clearly. But I mean, I know I hear it in my ear very clearly. Those three shots, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, it's time. Yeah. 
Yeah, see? Shotgun does it. That does exactly the way you want. Ooh, are y'all coming from where the yo? Oh, oh, I you missed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's sexy. Not when I need to load, though. like bundle more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I like yeah, you guys are like coming from all over the place. Can we start shouting? You know, get a good group going. I need the death amoeba to form. You know, it's that entire blob that because you're so close to it, everything gets sucked in. Don't go into a room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's what I want. That's what I want. Hmm. Yo. Nice. Tactics. I like it. Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't like it. Hey, hey, y'all. Y'all are supposed to come from that direction. Join the group. Do not skip the line. Do not skip the line. All right, all right, all right. All right. Security guard. Right, well, this is why we have fences. real quick just pull them straight out of the bag all right uh you know this is reminding me of something there was a time when we did this for a hat. Now it's just so that people can make it back to their regularly scheduled shopping in the Ohio River Mall like they're supposed to. And oh, we're gonna do this. Yep, yep, come get it. Oh, jute. <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 come here. By the way, why are we so hungry? Should I like eat bread while I walk? I feel like I should eat bread real quick. Y'all can wait. Bam. Bam. Ooh. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm not an expert. I'm kind of stupid, but. Ooh, all right. Uh... Hi, sir. Sir. Another one. You're skipping the line. It's not okay. It is not okay. Huh? Okay, how many zombies do you think are in the mall? That, that's, I guess, the question at this point. Because, I mean, I feel like every time I come here, I kill a thousand zombies, you know, so. <sighs> Didn't expect working on the sprinting skill. I mean, yeah. I don't know if we call it the sprinting skill at this point. It's like the jogging skill. 
Oh, nice wing. Yeah. You gotta admit, this dude has got to have some skills. This dude was backpedaling while loading the shotgun and still lobbing, you know, a good round off there afterwards. Oh, yo! Woo! He could have knocked me over just now. Alright, it's getting weird. See, see what I mean? The lunge. The lunge. Much of the defense cheese can help, but it can also hurt. Lunge again. It, oh, where are y'all coming from? The weirdness of your pathic. Like, oh no. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie, I am on edge. Oh, you know, I don't want to die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I, I have it all together at the moment. Oh, one, two, Ugh. back up. Ah. Uh. Yes, any wrong move, you know, could end our entire run, but I feel like we, we did it. We, we we did it. Can I uh, just take a moment and let me finish off these stragglers and see where that leads us. So, whatever was attracted just now, I feel like we did it, yeah. I say that, you know, I can go around this corner from where I walked through and there'd be a bunch of zombies still sitting there. Oh, but... I'm not gonna use the shotgun for like one and two shots like that that's not efficient oh the shotgun spread is just too good for that so okay all right Let's take a look at the kill count just real quick sixteen thousand one hundred and twelve Open this box real quick. I still got plenty of shells to work with. Well, why don't you come over, sir? And... Open the next build would be gun silencers. So, there shouldn't be. Let, let's be clear about that right an actual silencer you know is not something that civilians one should have two you don't need um there are shotgun chokes that will reduce sound especially for hunters and for rifles right but not an actual silencer <laughs> um, and so from a clarity perspective i actually don't think silencers should be in the base game like you mod okay fine but realistically speaking not really if it is, it should be the most rare gun item that you potentially would find. I mean, not in the 90s. Come on now. Okay. Um, well, hang on. Let's let's walk the first floor. I don't think I ever actually walked down from this direction. We have been on this side, but I don't think we ever walked from the north top side of the mall down this way so if there are any zombies still left over here we'll murder them and then we'll move to the second floor like that's what i'm thinking at the moment but this was this was good this was good yeah and you can see the blood trails for where i i i've come through here before um so let's check the other side i am not a gun player <laughs> normally so to see me pick up a gun again and start doing this is interesting for me was good barely any zombies fell from the sky which was your concern yes um i agree it looks like i think i'll mostly say clear you know i'm sure again there are stragglers in different places and whatnot 
I refuse to hunt down onesie twosie zombies. Like, I'm just going to be clear about that. But if I do see, you know, one that's there and he's banging on a door, I'll knock him out. Why not? Mm -mm. all right so yeah we will call the first floor of them all done like i said before i wanted to knock it out in one day and we're doing okay yes a lot of them <laughs> yeah there's a um what is it stalkers or stalkers gun mod i know there's a very popular gun mod that people run um for anybody who's interested in getting to the gun mods I typically don't. Yo, don't knock out the rain collectors. Not the rain collector, George. And he knocked it out. Oh, I didn't get to him in time. Can't stand zombies, you stupid behinds. No, wrong, I'm not going to use those rain collectors, but it'd be nice, you know, like. Oh, man. Do not remember how the base looked? When you found it the first time. Uh, that's a good point. I don't like these stairs. It's really hard to see if you're walking into a zombie that's kind of like just standing there for some reason. Oh. Uh, I mean, I just have to make another solar panel. The problem with the solar panel mod is when it breaks. It doesn't like drop the ingredients that were used to make it. It's just gone. So you can't like rebuild parts of it or something. It sucks. So, and they're expensive. Like it's not a cheap item to have to be able to put together. I hear knocking. What is this place? It's a hair salon. Yeah, I get it. All right. I think we've, we've done okay. We've done okay. If I did have some nine millimeter rounds, I would use them, but I do not. So you do. All right, well, we, I'm, I'm going to say that we've cleared them all. I'm going to do, you know, a pass in the public area. I don't think I'll walk the back room. So we made so much noise at this point. Zombies should be beating down doors. If they haven't already, you know, I'm, I'm not going to run down what the tops 15 zombies, right? Oh, uh, why are you trying to get in the bathroom? Is it that serious? You can't hold it, lady. What did you drink before you died? Oh, a hardware store. I'm still mad. I have not forgotten. And if I ever had to play another, well, let me rephrase that. I will be playing build 42. So come build 42. I will never come back to the mall again to look for a sledgehammer. I will not do that at all. It failed me. There's no reason to come back here again for that. So yeah, is that a pharmacy? It looks like a pharmacy. I feel like it's a pharmacy. Chips, cheese. No, this is a grocery spot. Look at that. Wait, why would you have groceries on the second floor? That's a bad design. Okay, yeah, it is a pharmacy. That was just kind of like snacks that you can get before you hit the checkout. Okay. Makes way more sense. Oh, gonna eat my bread. Get those carbs. Get those carbs. Clothing store. Yeah, I I think we've cleared them all. <laughs> nice. Nice. I will take it. Suit jacket. You know, I need to start thinking about a new outfit for, you know, our one year survive. Anything back here? Pull the shotgun just in case. One there, nothing there. Said you added the mall. Wait a minute. Add the mall to my game. Went busting in there like I was big and bad. 
Well, the question is, how did it go? Ooh, there it goes. Uh, went in. Back room. So it was full of zombies. I had to pee myself and ran through the mall, <laughs> out the door, and never went back. Yes, the mall is a beast. And I come on, Misfit. You see me have to deal with hordes of zombies with our axes. And so. Uh, ooh. Finally bored, huh? Mostly two weeks, really. Butter. Look at that. Oh, if we weren't the vegan character, butter. So this is a call out again. Uh, if you don't already know, which plenty of people do, but if you don't, 3,200 calories, a single stick of butter will make you gain weight. <laughs> Even at absolute, you know, negative calories, you will start gaining weight from eating a single a stick of butter. Now, for those of you who'd be like, well, that's not realistic. It's very realistic if you ate a whole, like, container of butter sitting by yourself. So, yeah, that's not healthy. Oh, all right. Are we good? I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to say mall has been cleared. At this point, if I come to the mall, it's just for, like, knickknacks. There are, there's a zombie who decided to come this way. Hi. Did you see me from all the way downstairs? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out. Okay. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What we got here, what we got here, what we got here? Is this like the music store? <laughs> yeah, this is the music store. And we're not talking like electronics. We're talking instruments. I dig that. The lit a fire and ran as fast as I mean, you know, the, it happens. I'm, no judgment. No judgment. Uh, oh, the mall is a serious ordeal, and we almost died here. Hell, we, we got that bite on the hand. If we didn't have le leather gloves, we would have died. Oh, uh, so, yeah. I think we call it. Yeah, we're we're gonna call it. We're gonna say that the mall is clear. Okay. I am curious. Now that I just saw that though, what is this shop? Meat. <laughs> Meat, dehydrated uh, meat and whatnot. I wonder. I'm sure there's a mod for it. If you could like take very. I hear a zombie. Scared the hell of me just now. Where are you? Damn. All right. Well, again. Doesn't make sense to put the meat shop on the second floor, putting that one out there, devs. <laughs> Anybody who shops for food in a mall, and I'm just gonna call this out, right? You wanna be able to take the bags or boxes, whatever the hell you got, and bring them to your car easily and efficiently. Now, in the case of grocery shopping, you have a grocery cart that you can wheel out to your car. If you're on the second floor and you have to take the elevator, it don't make no sense. Uh, zombies on YouTube or somebody trying to cure zombies and you're going to try that. That's interesting. Kind of. Oh no, I just realized the vehicle condition has gone down to the point where I need to repair that. All right. Oh, All right, the mall was underwhelming. Um, the mall was underwhelming. What do we do here? What do we do here? I don't need the pistol anymore because that has failed me. And we'll drop the magazines for that. Just give us some of the space back. Okay. Put this in our hand. Oh, 
Oh, come over here, guys. Yes, yes. We, uh, we drive on home. Yeah. And there's no sense to stay here. We, we cleared them all. Cleared them all. Whenever you play, you always start off as, as the week everything starts. Cool if everybody wasn't already a zombie, but it turned over time. Um, that's an interesting call out. You know, the world has NPCs that all you know start and everything's fine there's rules to be followed then zombies start to happen so onesie twosie maybe you hear your neighbor screaming and then they start eating each other so you watch it unfold i like that idea you can see how hard that would be the code though it'd be chaos Like it's not even just a programming perspective because you think you know the NPC is having AI basis, and let's say you put five zombies in the world somewhere, those zombies start to bite people, or maybe just bite one. But what happens if you know you have two or three that get those zombies? Then the airborne strain happens. You have random people who start turning into zombies. I can see how it could get weird. Um, it'd be interesting to see that done. I'd be curious to see if any modders have tried it. All right, we're going to have to repair the truck. And you know what? I just realized I need to clear my way home. So i use some of these shells this way, too. What? Everything on this. Dude, dude, um, okay. Very right, game. I'm on board, I'm on board, let's uh, let's do it guys. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna block my way home with the bullets. I hate the night. <laughs> yeah. But just like dying light, you know, you have to go out at night. And learning the way that you deal with it is super important. Don't know why some of these zombies like gather around the festival grounds. That's the weird part to me here. But, you know, we deal with it. How? How? It was green. It was green. Yeah. I'm not like in this red kills at this point so I'm gonna call that a bus and just hi move yes yes now you die that's unfortunate all right all right how we doing how we doing there should be some bread here yep brought plenty because I was thinking that it was gonna be a situation and it wasn't I did say I wanted to get it done in one day so I can't be mad at that though. so hey guys yeah, we'll be repairing the truck. Repairing the truck. So, might as well use it. I think I have plenty of... Ooh. Oh, please be a bush. No trees. Yes. Alright, we're good there. 
oh you should see me right now I'm like damn near pressing my face to the screen so I can see how to snake through game game yes there it is ah I made it I never pulled out another water bottle, huh? My bad. Okay. Well, I mean, except. What's the next after 200 days? One year? <laughs> you know, I was talking about that at the beginning of the stream, whether or not we uh, decide to try to clear all of Louisville like we did with West Point, or if we go somewhere else, blah. I, I'm, I'm literally just sitting here thinking about it. Like, what do you do? for the end um build the combat skills in the various different categories like yeah that's that's true we can but i, I want to do something more than that and i feel like there's no such thing as conquering louisville like the conquest of louisville is just killing or creating a self-sustained environment and we, we're definitely self-sustainable so in the the check box of surviving louisville we've done that so if that's true, do you stay in Louisville and you just keep killing zombies and that can get boring, right? Uh, or do you find, you know, the next great venture? But Louisville is supposed to be the venture. <laughs> so um, I don't know. It, it's a thought. And I, I really do need to think through the plan. I don't. I mean, we're not going to finish the 200 days tonight. I think we have three more streams, maybe, if I my math is correct. Um, just on how we average right so we might need to start really planning pack up the car and decide where we're gonna go because at the end of 100 days we had cleared west point and then we worked our asses off uh to get into louisville so now we can come and go as we please in louisville true no we haven't seen every poi but not all of them are worth seeing right um so it's just it's a question of where should we go do we do a forestry survival, you know, and say, drop everything we have, go out into the wilderness and be a true park ranger? Uh, that's something we could do. You know, there's, there's a list of things we could do. I just, I don't have an idea just yet. Um, oh, that's a good question. So I was, I was thinking about taking a small break uh, from Raymond, you know, for sure. If you look at at what we did when we hit 100 days i took a break then as well we played um what's it called uh, there's a challenge the winter is coming challenge and it was only a few streams that we did the winter coming challenge and we died and it was great it was fun uh just to play something a little differently but still be playing project zomboy the problem with you know doing something new is that it takes away from how much every time we have left before build 42 comes out because once build 42 comes out this save is then obsolete so it's one of those things like how far can you get before build 42 comes out like that's what we're at right now you know what i mean um so yeah i i just have to be able to answer that question do we do something for fun that's a little different or do we stay the course and just try to keep getting as far as we can you know what i mean what about Zero to Hero? So I've noticed on YouTube, Zero to Hero is trending again, and that's because Project uh, Private Lime is running a Zero to Hero, um, you know, setup right now, and I appreciate it. I do, yeah, but <laughs> everyone does approach Zero to Hero a little differently. I never like Lime's approach, not because it's not good. Let me be very clear about that. Uh, Private Lime is one of the best in the Zomboid players out there um and i say that not just as youtuber because you know he's a solid youtuber he's very knowledgeable across the board i give him a lot of credit for what he does the problem i have is he's found himself in a routine like he goes to the consistent places that people tend to go and he has the exact same you know build or setup or however you want to say it um so that's my issue with lime today it's just hard for me to watch him anymore because i i can guess what he's about to do Oh, yeah. And Misfit just explained the Zero to Hero. 
So yeah, um, the idea of having all the negative traits and zero skills for everything, knowing that I'm a big fan of the forging system, you know, I would fall back on it. I ain't got no problem saying that. Um, not to mention that's kind of the way to survive that situation. I think zero to hero plus CDDA might be interesting. Might be. Um, but even then it's like, you know, recognizing what that means. I think my spin on everything Project Zomboid is just to do things that aren't common. So with CDDA, I think that would be the start, right? Uh, I want to take the approach of like healing my character using all of the foraging stuff. You know, people don't realize that you can reduce how long it takes for things to recover if you use the poultice along with, you know, blah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it'll go that way. You know, it, it depends. Um, so yeah. The zero to hero is still a fun way to play, not to mention seeing people die repeatedly because <laughs> getting out of the, the flaming house and dealing with the zombies is the start. That's the, the issue, right? You know, so respect where respect is due. OK, we're home. We are cleaned up. So when Schreiber went in the woods and everything you used had to make live off that. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was thinking about. Like, I can do it here with this character. It's not like we don't have the capability, but we have max skills and everything. So um, there is, what is it? There's a campground here somewhere. Because if this is Rosewood, then out here is a campground that you could hit. And I'm saying this is a large space, but yeah, there's a campground here that's all forced. Um, you can kill all the zombies that are there at the campgrounds and it's open to you. Lots of water, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you, you go to the same campground everybody else goes to. There is another one that's down here that nobody goes to. One, because it's entirely abandoned. Two, there's no water source. So if I did that, it would be a more interesting way, in my personal opinion, you know, trying to apply, um, you know, without having a true water source, without collecting rain in some way, shape or form. But when you've gone from having a base that has electricity to <laughs> rewilding, you know what? I think that's actually the statement I'm going to make. Rewilding the character. Um, it it would be interesting. It'd be hard on me <laughs> right up front because I'd be like, damn, I'm trying to find blah. Uh, but getting everything going would be interesting. I could see that. So I don't know. Uh, that's my first thought. Did it with no skills and had it. Yeah, so um, Lime did that and so did Amphibious, if I remember correctly. Um, I th the Lime actually had a full series on it, but I think Amphibious was a live stream. That said, um, you know, you, you need mods if you're going to make the clothes yourself. And I would have to find or choose mods to do that. Yeah, so definitely need mods to be able to make your own clothes. Um, Mar. Two, three, four. That's just us. Yep. All right, we're good. I haven't had an actual food salad in a while, so. A lot. Oh, I left all that bread in the car, didn't I? Okay. But that said, I, I know that YouTubers are all about sharing content ideas. Um, so <laughs> I say share it. Like some people are like, dude, don't take my idea. Whereas others, you know, to see somebody else approach the same thing is fair game. I um, So I'm all about that. But I just don't know if it's fair for me to attempt exactly the same way somebody else did it. So um, I can find a custom map. That might be another interesting thing to do and see, you know, what you can do with it. But I am trying to, again, make it one year. So I, I don't know. I, I'm playing with it. I'm playing with it. I do think what will happen for sure, though, is I'll scout this campground down here and just see how I feel about it. Uh, OK, so eat bread. 
Yeah, Misfit, I mean, I appreciate the, uh, the recommendations. It's always a good thing to bounce ideas off of each other and people and just see where interest might lie. Okay, um, Pope Matt, real quick. So we're not just going to hang out at the house, you know, on stream tonight. So we've cleared the mall. I am going to say the mall is now officially done. So I am happy about that. I'm going to leave the tent that is there, there, just in case we need to come back to it. I'm actually now thinking about, I've never explored the area here. There are shops outside the mall on this side. So a large parking lot is what we drove into, but I don't want to have to keep driving through this area. Uh, not really interested in that. So the nursing home was here. The place that we almost died at was here. We lost our hat. We've already killed a bunch of zombies on this road. And I'm curious to find an apartment complex. I know there's an apartment complex over here somewhere, but um, I'm interested to see what it can offer me. I feel like we never went to the second floor of the medical center, but we killed a bunch of zombies there on the end of 100 days. So not super worried about that. So yeah, there is an opportunity down this road. And then this is all shopping center area as well that we've never hit. So a little bit of exploring, uh, but we need to fix the truck. So we're going to do that first before we do any of that. Oh, find another stove. How many kills did we end up at the mall? Uh, 16,160. So we killed 300 ish, 300 ish. I'm rounding. Um, da, da, da. we need metal sheets. Stove broke. No, we were, we're just going to replace the antique stove with something that uses electricity. It was a thought process. Um, you know, the antique stove serves the purpose of both heat and cooking your food, but you have to manually light it with something. Right. So I was thinking it might be interesting to put in, you know, an electric set, uh, setup. My problem with the, uh, with doing that though is like, why realistically speaking, there's no real reason for me to do it. Um, other than the convenience of being able to press a button rather than starting a fire, but we are a park ranger We're starting a fires are easy for us. Uh, so that's one, two, um, it does provide heat, you know, but the issue with the whole provide heat issue is we never needed it. <laughs> Like that's my only problem with the whole provide heat argument. We have yet to need to be warm. There've been plenty of days where it's been cold and yeah, you know, the guy who fights through, I've got layers, he's an outdoorsman. So from a trait perspective, we've never caught a cold, you know, and where's out there it is, outdoorsman. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, yes, it's there and maybe I should be better about doing it. It'd be good for us. Can you only repair this so many times? Yeah, I feel like you get less repairs out of this the more you do it. Interesting. Three hundred eighteen kills is what we pulled out of that sweep. I appreciate the math being done. All right, so hood. That's window. Uh, hood. We can repair that. No trunk. My bad. Repair that and one more time. All right, trunk is repaired. Cold temperature we have, has him catch cold. If we, it, it's not so much a temperature issue. Let's, let's point something out real quick. You take a look at your character's, you know, temperature here and go to insulation. It's really a matter of like how insulated you are and how deep the code gets to it, right? So when you're fighting code, <laughs> um, that's one problem. And the reality of that is as an outdoorsman, even in below freezing temperatures, the fighting code is never going to hit our, co our, our core to a point where we catch a code. Yeah, our toes would be cold. Fair enough. But our core of not getting cold is going to prevent us from catching a cold. And that's the good part. So it's just about recognizing, you know, how that looks in the game. The math, every time the calculation comes through for are you going to catch a cold 
is going to pretty much put us in a state where no, we'd have to be at like negative 19 or something like that to be in the real risk with our current setup. Now, if we were just in jeans and a t-shirt or shorts in a t-shirt, whole different story. And that's just stupid. So yeah, but you know, cryogenic winter is still hard on somebody running the uh, outdoorsman trade. And same thing with winter is coming. That challenge also, you know, does it like having the outdoorsman trade doesn't make it easier on you. So recognize that. But on the base game, yeah, outdoorsman trade, I'll pretty much never catch a coat because I should be well insulated to never have to worry about. Oh, uh, food. Do I have food with me? No, I have food with me. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I, I did remember seeing I've still got stuff turning stale because even though it came out of the freezer, that doesn't mean that it's still in the best condition it was. So we'll probably in, uh, we'll get close to the end stream and need to start thinking about getting more food um, to work with. Yeah. I put the bread in here, right? Yeah. So let me slice one set. And then we'll make a sandwich or a burger uh, from that. I like the idea of having a sandwich on here on the road. So, eggplant. Ooh, bell pepper with eggplant. I could see that. I personally would fry the eggplant if I was putting it on a sandwich, though. Banana does not belong on that. Oh, mushrooms do, though. I can dig that. With, uh, oh, no. All right, <laughs> let me say it now. I just had a light flicker, so hopefully I don't lose power. Oh, uh, calling that out now. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, so I won't do anything else with that. I'm going to make another sandwich. No, where's the burger? Where's the burger? I'm close to it. There it is. All right, so burger, mushrooms, eggplants. Bell pepper. I am monitoring stream. It looks like I'm still connected, even though you guys aren't talking. So looks that way. And I would remember, why not? You know, make it nice and saucy. A little bit of salt. The power went out. Yeah, so. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, let's run with that for now. And uh, I will keep my burgers in the bag. Nice to have. Don't need to eat just yet. And go from there. Okay, so we get in the car. The real question is, what's our look, our destination? So, um, you know. <laughs> PR Amara pointed out that we, we might need to start thinking about fresh food. I've killed a bunch of zombies over here and we do have large farmland down here. I don't think I really want to do that because this, this takes you like you're outside of Louisville at this point. Um, if I come down this direction, it won't be fresh food. It'd be more packaged food. That's not funny either. So now, you know what? We're going to go over here where we never really checked it out. So I've driven through there once, but that's about it. All right, let's do it. Uh, ooh, and we should hit the gas station too. I am low on gas. We're gonna say that the 200 days is his birthday. I mean, interesting. I don't think we said yay or nay to that. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You are not welcome here, sir. Take your hippiness away. Hmm. Still drinking my coffee. I'm digging that. Yes. Okay. Uh, rude. Road. 
Then you come through here. Is that a park ranger with another hat? Yes. Hi, I'm gonna take your clothes. Sorry about your injury. You had a police shirt on. Why'd you have a police shirt on? I don't know. Earth Day. Earth Day. I don't know. Let's let let let's say March seventh. <laughs> let, let's just give it a random date real quick. March seventh is his birthday, so it won't be the end of two hundred days. It'll put us into the three hundred day uh, at some point. Why March 7th? Because I think it sounds interesting. <laughs> M7 is his birthday. It is the year 1994 currently, you know, since we've made it that far. Okay, so we're gonna hit the gas station real quick. Oh, um, because we are running low on gas. So, no, fair enough. So like I said, I'm interested in finding a apartment complex because we are in Louisville, but at the same time, I do feel like, you know, just random explore exploration might be fun too. So, um, see some of the POIs, maybe we won't go inside of them. Maybe we find one that we really do want to go inside. You know, we'll see. Hold up. Let me turn on the battery pack. And we fill up. How much? 14 hours left on there, so we're good. We're on our way to. We are heading towards a commercial district that was over near the first warehouse we ever looted, actually, and when we got to uh, Louisville. I'm interested in taking a look around. I'm also thinking that if we find another like truck, I will start exchanging some parts from pull out, you know, the the windshields that are here and replace them for the other one. Oh, mechanics work. <laughs> we so metal working went up as we worked on the hood, which makes sense because we used to put paint torch. I did think it would affect our mechanics, but it didn't. So you know, fair enough. This is not the road. This is the side road. All right, cool. So snow. Ugh in january in louisville in 1993 that's a thing that's true in my short period of time living in the fort knox louisville area there was a time i remember we had snow that piled all the way to like a good four or five feet to the door like that was a thing that had happened i also remember there is a solid cave system that is in kentucky as a whole i don't know if it's it's not really in Louisville, but I know that uh, Kentucky is home of one of the largest cave systems in the world, uh, especially in the United States. Let me say the United States. I shouldn't say the world. That said, um, Louisville has some very, let me rephrase that, Kentucky has some very interesting weather patterns. And I mean, you got mountains in certain places, you got plains in other places. It is the bluegrass state. Um, I'd be interested in doing some research to see like what the biome is like in Kentucky. And as you notice, I, I am a big fan of understanding the environment. Uh, you know, from a generic perspective, I understand woodlands and hills, grass and, and spurs, but 
Bluegrass state, yes. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass is a type of grass that grows in Kentucky. It's called blue bluegrass, right? But um, it's very luscious. It's very thick. It's not like crabgrass, which is invasive and like can be pretty much called a weed. That, it, that's not what it is. It's probably some of the softest, amazing grass you'll ever see, but it's very water dependent. So, um, you know, if you're not a person who likes to water your grass, do not get bluegrass. <laughs> Very nice grass, yes. And you can spend some money if you want to import it to your area. I'm sure there are plenty of places. Isn't this a chicken spot? Pancake house. Interesting. Pancake house. You know, I feel like the man should get some pancakes. I love that Misfit actually knows this about the grass. <laughs> oh, goodness. I, sometimes I feel like I'm just giving you guys random information. So. Yeah, not, the swing is not happening. All right, don't lunge at me. Where is it? Yo, okay, there's a fair amount of zombies around here. Anyway, Pancake House. It's not like Waffle House, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Uh, dude, can I just smash the window? See, you literally look for things that, okay. Are you saying like you look them up online or I don't mind people fact checking me, but so no, of course not. Pancake. Well, pancake. -y. Are you just saying pancakes in general? Or are you saying this, this, this location? Cause I'm sure this location would not be vegan intentionally. Right. But, uh, pancakes are inherently vegan. You know, it's a matter of what people put in them. That's the problem. And there are pancake like mixes that you will see on the store shelf that are already vegan. Um, you will add things like butter or milk to them. Fair enough. But not all of them are. So it does depend on the mixture. And of course you have um, different companies that like powdered milk to be added to it because it gives it, you know, that enriched um, flour effect. So yeah. Again, you know, just to say pancakes are not vegan, yes. And I would argue it would have been cheaper to have mixes that were vegan friendly back then. But nobody would have said that. You know, it's one of those things like you don't have to say that pancake mix is vegan. It's flour, baking powder, sugar, <laughs> and salt. That's a basic pancake mix right there. Add stuff to it to enhance it, enrich it, makes it to where you get the other thing. So your milk and butter is where it would turn to no longer vegan. But there's no reason to do that. Like there's not an actual reason to do that other than personal preference. So as Misfit just pointed out, you know, it will make you fat. Yes. Uh, but those things are also, you know, will make people really interested in the meal. Funny enough, fat tastes great. That's just how, you know, Americans see things. Um, so we add fat to things. You would love to go plant-based. What's stopping you? I have to ask. Don't take that as a, a shot, mind you. So. <laughs> I love meat. And that's fair. Oh, I'm not going to tell you not to enjoy meat. I am the type of person who used to get a filet mignon. Um, I, medium rare was my thing. Closer to the rare, I did like to feel my juices. You know, I, I, I was that guy. I'm a foodie. Um, so... To become a vegan foodie is even weirder for people sometimes. Die without me. Cheers. Fair enough. Again, not telling you to do it. If you're interested, we can talk about it, but don't think of me promoting it at the moment. We're good. I mean... This is kind of a buzzkill. I was expecting, you know, nice buildings and 
great restaurants, and I wasn't expecting like a small restaurant near row homes. I thought that would kill. Daughter should go plant based because she don't eat meat like that. But that's fair. Oh, um, I would argue that younger generations probably have the best opportunities when it comes to changing their dietary habits. And funny enough, we, <laughs> we need to use the word we because anybody over the age of, uh, let's say 27, um, has been with parents that taught them dietary guidelines and or forced them to eat certain ways. Uh, when you were younger, you just kept it, you know, finish your whole plate. Like we all heard you can't leave the dinner, dinner table without eating your whole meal, which is actually not a positive way to present food to a person. Oh, um, yeah, I'm done. I'm full. Like, no, you eat everything off your plate. <laughs> oh, the same thing was true about, you know, what was cooked. Mac and cheese four times in the week is not a good thing. Sorry. <laughs> same thing with like chicken nuggets. Everybody loves some chicken nuggets when we were kids. And, uh, your parents probably shouldn't let you eat those three times a week, you know. Meat, rice, and gravy, yes. <laughs> you know, and funny enough, that was cheap. You know, you, the, the meat in itself was subsidized. The gravy was a quick uh, mix. You know, there was a lot of things that came along with that. But your parents could cook that in 20 minutes and have food on the table. Like, that's a thing. So... There's no going out the fast food. That's fair. Oh, fast food is kind of a, a, a mixed bag. And for some people, it's a treat. For other people, it's a necessity. Oh, yeah. Okay. We at least got some killing going on. We, we pulled out the machete. No. Using meat cleaver is interesting because we are leveling it, but it's not interesting because it takes forever to get. I said I would try meat one day. Uh, okay, so that's not fair. Only be able to last 12 hours seems weird. What happened there? <laughs> what happened there? I'm very curious. My husband made fun of me for days laughing, saying, no me. Yeah, again, like, I, again, the question is, what happened? Like, what's, were you just sitting there like, I need a snack or something and didn't feel full? Because that's usually what happens to people in that type of scenario. You ate something, you're like, yeah, I'm going to make it. And you're like, wait a minute, no, I've already processed that. What's going on? And you want something to eat again. That's usually what happens. It'll smell. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. You, you were definitely set up for failure. So, <laughs> that's okay. I get that. So, temptation is a terrible thing. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. There are a lot of zombies up here. I thought this was a neighborhood. It is a neighborhood. So what is here? What is this building? I'm curious. There are a lot of zombies here. Luckily for me, we have the endurance to fight like this. Meat cleaver is a good way to go for sure when it comes to short blade, but... I kind of feel like grabbing the katana and just making life easier on myself. Hmm. Oh. No. Oh. Getting tired. Exhaustion starts to set in. You backpedal. Come on, guys. There it is. There it is. Just. Perfect. All right, we did it. 
Ooh. Murder. We, that's, uh... Like I said, I'm gonna grab the katana. I'm feeling like I should at least put it on the back. Take a moment real quick. Just take a breath. Think the man can eat his last sandwich for the day? Sorry, 6.30? And we're good. All right. Uh, so I'm curious to see what this building is. You have a shotgun, sir. I'm sure you don't have that many shells. Let's hear it. Perfect. Oh, I love that. A magnum too. Interesting. I'm going to unload. Why does it say just one round? Can I unload the magnum as a whole? I think I can't like give you back the gun. I don't, I don't need it. Same thing here. Unload the shotgun. It's currently racked as well. So. And then rack it. And I can't give you back the shotgun, huh? Can I just drop it on the ground, please? There. All right. We picked up some bullets. Yay. So, again, I'm very curious to see what this building is. Uh, I don't know why there are so many zombies that are right here at this intersection. And let's see. Good day. Just like Duncan McLeod, there can be only one. Why did that happen just now? I hopped over a window seal? Like, after opening the door? Is this a bus station? Feels like a bus station. I don't like this. I don't like it. Open. Yeah. Game. Game. I can't <laughs> walk out of that. All right, I can go through that side. Woo! It wasn't like that at all. That was just getting funky. Hey, hey, I'm over here. Yeah, I'm going to say this is a bus station. Uh, that's what I'm feeling like right now. Uh, I realize I'm doing a lot of night fighting. I need to stop that. Okay. Oh, goodness. Sword it is amazing. It just feels like butter. It feels like butter. Okay. Sandwich is good. Uh, how are we doing on everything? We're okay. We're ma maintaining our weight. That's the important part. If you're not losing, that's okay. Maintaining is better, so... That looks like a B. Which we're not gonna touch. BV, do you remember how it felt when it was when I started being vegan? Yes. Yes, I do remember what it was like to go vegan. Oh. Ugh. I think the first three months was probably the hardest, truth be told. You know, because you're in a place where you're trying to figure out one, what are your staple meals? Oh, um, you know, that you like. <laughs> Two you, you, you have to really reimagine your cravings because it's not so much that you want meat. It's the things that are paired with it. And I say all the time to people, it's not that you're craving chicken. It's not that you're craving steak. It's, you know, the saltiness. It's the the fat associated with it. It's the breading. You know, there's it's the things that you pair with it that you actually oh, miss. Because think of it this way. Nobody eats chicken by itself. Like, it's not like you take a thing of chicken and throw it into the oven and do no seasoning, no breading, no marinade, no blah, 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 blah. Like, nobody does that. <laughs> um, steak, a little different, but even with a steak, like a properly cooked steak, you can 
throw on the grill, sure, but it's not just the grill. Some people salt or butter or, um, you know, you have the entire process of pulling out the flavors of your steak. Fair enough. So those are the things that I struggle with and understanding how that translated to my veganism. So today I don't have those issues. When I'm craving something like chicken, I know I'm craving breading with, you know, a level of uh, salt and onion powder works really well. Uh, because you typically use onion powder with chicken. <laughs> Funny enough. Oh, uh, I never really crave red meat and it's not a thing for me. So that's a interesting statement when I think about it that way. Huh. But it took me a solid three months to not cheat, you know, I, I will say that. Which is actually why I always undercut the amount of time it's been since I've been vegan, just to take away those three months from myself. We're good. Yeah. All right. Well, bus station clear. We'll, we'll go back to the house. We've been playing in the dark, losing visibility. Well, cool. Now, I will say this. I don't eat salads. Like, it's, <laughs> oh, that was kind of my number one thing I wanted to be able to say to people when I went vegan. It's like, yeah, I'm vegan and I don't eat salad. That doesn't mean I don't eat green, leafy vegetables. I do. Oh, but I intentionally don't like chop up a salad, you know, for the day or something like that and be like, this is my meal and this is all I ate. Like, no, 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 uh, I eat lots of varieties of things that's not salad. But you have to also recognize that I understand how to get all of my nutrients, including my proteins, without eating salad. So it's things like that that stand out to you that you have to learn when you become vegan. Pizza is probably my favorite still today. Don't like salads, yeah. Yeah, but a, a solid pizza is still a favorite of mine. And we're not talking about like pizza with yeah, cheese. Like if you think about it, an Italian pizza, you know, a margarita pizza, so on and so forth. These things were made with olive oils and various other vegetables that were thrown on your bread and then cooked, right? So we didn't start adding, let me say that again, adding tomato sauces until years we're talking almost 100 years into the tradition of pizza and that you know kind of became a staple but a, a legit pizza did not have tomato sauce didn't have cheese smothered all over it until americans made it a thing let me not say americans i'm going to say westerners oh non-italians so and it just kind of molded into the culture so knowing things like that knowing you know the the etymology i'm gonna use that term even though usually we would say etymology with words we're gonna do it in food too where did something originate from how did it morph into what it is today and then can you take it back to the original basis so let me give you an interesting recipe to try get a whole spanish onion and then bake it do nothing else to it don't cut it don't do anything throw it into the oven at 425 degrees and bake it all the way through until it's turned into that brown you see the goopiness coming out of it take it out of the oven split it in half and then put a dressing on top of it you'd be surprised that eating a strictly an onion with whatever your dressing might be favorite dressing uh salt pepper you can go that direction too is absolutely amazing and that recipe goes all the way back to the 1400s so yeah <laughs> oh it, 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 you think about it and it's just like where did food come from why is it the way it is today and why is it making you fat today it shouldn't be but this is me having a conversation about food while i'm playing projects on board <laughs> then again there are people out there who just drink olive oil because they don't want to cook so if you think eating a roasted onion is bad Now you're thinking, making you think of eggplants, yeah. Because yeah. all the man <laughs> made things we don't know about our food as well. It's because all the man made things we don't know about that's in our, oh, okay, I see what you see. From a processed food perspective, things that are in there. I agree with that. Um, there is a saying when I took my cooking certification 
that uh i shouldn't say cooking culinary certification um six ingredients or less majority of good nutritious recipes should be able to be made with six ingredients or less if you have to do more than that it's probably not nutritious you're <laughs> adding more than you probably should oh uh, so yeah try that don't even get rid of your meat try to make a six or ingredients or less recipe oh uh, for one week and see how that works out for you and yes that actually does include seasonings if you want to go the easy route powdered things like powdered onions and powdered garlic won't work against you fair enough but you can't be like, hey, I got these chives that are dry. Like, no, no, no. Six ingredients or less. Try that. See how you work out. See how you feel by the end of the week. Just a thought. All right. Oh, uh, food. Yeah, character. Food. I think we will make an item. Info. I mean, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Misfit says, okay, are you going to take my challenge? Is that what it is? <laughs> All right, water fill. Yes, I can do that. All right, cool. Good, let me know. Come Sunday or whenever you pop back in, you know, just let me know how long you can make it. I hope it's more than 12 hours. <laughs> and don't let your husband, you know, attack you for it. I'm going to cook some acorns. This is a great idea. Uh, okay. So acorn, acorn. Oh, oh, a quick note. Uh, I, this is not a paid advertisement. So this is just coming from a person who is trying to offer somebody else, um, you know, some information, a book that you might be interested in looking at specifically for like cu cuisine <laughs> cuisine um what is it vegan on a budget if you look at that amazon on amazon or anywhere i got mine out of barnes and noble at one point um great little book that is pretty close to six ingredients or less i don't think all of her recipes are but a lot of hers are um i do like that for anybody who's looking to just try some recipes you don't have you don't have to be 100 percent vegan with it um see I can't remember the lady's name. I'm trying to look at my bookshelf, but it's too far away and I'm not walking away from the stream to do that. Uh, I think we've heard that book before. Yeah. I mean, while we sit here and, and wait, I just saw another screen. Uh, plant based, affordable, blah, blah, blah. If you're going to budget, that's not what we wanted. Book. Live, live bees, vegan on the budget. That's the one I was thinking of. So, there we go. Fire, and we're all set. And I'm just gonna eat that. Yes, 71 hunger, 25 thirst, and negative six on border, and negative 26 on unhappiness. This man is doing it right. Oh, we are living a good life. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I don't know. Do we finish the night with some foraging, maybe? I do recognize how much our fresh food stocks are going low, and maybe we do that. Eating straight out of the pot, yes. <laughs> yes, we did. I mean, you know, in fairness, how many kills are we at already? 16,315, uh, 16, you know, uh, it's a thing. Speaking of that, hang on. So we drove over hill, hill. We just went down this road and then we found the bus station here. So, oh, I was wrong. There's residential here. This was the shop that we went into. We keep going up we'll find more stuff. So I just turned too soon. No. Okay, we can just get back in the car. It's beard group fast. Did it? You're right. He's got a chin scrap. 
He's got a chin strap. Okay, so let's take off the hat. Unequip. Sword and all. And chin strap. Shave beard while in the bathroom. It's gotta go. There you go. And then put my hat back on. Where? Uh, you know, we'll just take the breath. You know, because we're still working on our weight gain, weight loss. So, something to think about. That wind. Ooh. Not too heavy, but it's enough to make you feel it. It is 10 degrees outside. been cool if he would have shaved with a katana i think that's a little too hard you know <laughs> oh. there is a point where you're trying to be too rugged uh, just to be fair you know so all right all right so we we did still hit our original range oh hello you actually walked through here to come get me jerk i had somebody this close to the house in a while anyway Oh, yeah. I was, what was I saying? <laughs> what was I thinking? Kills. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So we originally said that we'd be close to the range of 20,000. So between 15,000 and 20,000 kills. Um, I don't know if we really will make it there within, you know, just under. No, oh, we might. We might. We're coming close. I mean, we got 13 days left. I won't make 20,000. Maybe 18. Maybe 18. Maybe 18. We'll see. You know what? We're going to go down this road this time. We won't go the exact one. What is this? Oh. Uh, okay, here it is. Game. Game. You can't play music if I can't see zombies. I mean, I know there's fog out, but come on now. I don't see zombies, they don't see me, let's be fair. Ooh, ah, almost hit him. Like to keep the, the truck in better standing because I don't want to have to keep repairing it. it. Does seem like there is a point in which repairing the, the hood becomes inefficient, you know, and finding a new vehicle is the better way to go. Um so yeah, try to keep the, the truck in good condition. That's what we're gonna do here. It's been a while since we've been over here. We went to the fancy houses before to finish up our setup at home. So, yay. I hear an oh no. Why no no? What happened? Yes. There is a limit to repairing. Okay, so we are back here, which this restaurant was amazing. I love this design, very open, very posh setup, and that is who I am. I am a bougie person in real life. Um, so, good way to get into my heart is to take me to fancy places. Let me dress up, let me show out. Let's take a look. Where am I? Uh, right here. Okay, so I can just turn and look through my. Uh, tire spot here. Fair enough. I got a lap? Really? Come on, Misfit. You know you feel the same way. Everybody likes to have an opportunity to put on something nice. It doesn't have to be all the time. It's just once every now and so often. This, what is this? It, oh, this is a school. I'm not going into a school. I, I've been here before. I didn't actually walk into the school, but we did find this in the school. So I'm not going in there. Uh, we'll go around the back and see what's over here. Hey, I am a homebody. I'm mostly in my PJs. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Uh, all right. Being comfortable is fine. I, I get that. And, and again, yeah, it's. 
I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying every now and so often, like once a quarter, take me out. <laughs> Give me a chance. Oh, uh, as a parent, I know exactly how hard that is, though, because it's expensive to get a oh, babysitter and find somebody to actually just deal with the kids. Even if you don't have, like, baby babies, like, just the idea of walking away from how many other kids you've got for X period of time can be daunting, and I know. So, yes. But it would be nice. If he brings me home one more PJ said I'm leaving him. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, all right, guys. All right, I'm gonna get out the car. Let's let's just let, let's get it done. Yes. There are a lot of zombies over here. So definitely an area I have not really dealt with. So we're gonna do some dealing. Walk into the blade. There's no shame in this. You know what? I just thought of something. Um, what movie was that? Goodness gracious, Serenity. Anybody ever seen the movie Serenity? I'm gonna, I'm about to pull out my nerd level real quick. <laughs> Goodness, I. Well, okay, let's back up. Serenity was both a TV show and you know, it came from a TV show, right? There's a movie, but it wasn't really. The original TV show wasn't called Serenity. Is that right? Hmm. I'll have to double check on that. Anybody in the comments later, you know, let me know. Regardless, the movie was wonderful. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I had an image of the actor in that movie who was hunting them down with his little sword situation pop up at me. So, huh. And I can't remember his, his name either. Goodness, this is escaping me. Remember the movie, remember the scene, don't remember the actor's name, and I do not recall all of the details leading up to it. It's the terrible part about getting old with your memory. I saw a movie 15 years ago. I can recall images of that movie. I don't remember everything, though. <laughs> uh, what was the movie? Serenity. Serenity. Fantastic little fantasy style movie. Oh, um, you know, you enjoyed things like Babylon 5 and the alien concept along with humans and not specifically Star Trek because Star Trek had like a, this commander element to it that gives you a naval uh, feel about it. But it's more like an adventure. adventure. What was it about? Uh, in this case, the movie was about a corporate cover-up of an entire planet basically dying because of i'm gonna call it a virus that leads to an entire situation and the crew of this ship a privatized ship uh learns all the details about it starts to try to bring it to light and they get hunted down for it now uh, lots of people die. <laughs> but it's still a great show you uh, And that's the movie aspect. There's obviously lots of other plot lines within the TV show that it came from. I just can't remember the name of the TV show. Off the top of my head, it might just be Serenity. Um, yeah. No, Firelight, Firefly, Firefly, Firefly was the name of the TV show. The movie was Serenity, but the TV show was Firefly. Got it. I remember now. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, we good? There's just that many people on this road. I love this billboard. I mean, that definitely, it is perfume. Oh, really? Come on. You, you could have done better. You could have done better. Never saw it. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. I, again, pulling out my, my, uh, my fantasy hat, my nerd hat. And if you like watching like a solid movie that does not have a follow up or a cash grabby experience, so on and so forth, Serenity is truly a, a, a movie. To sit down, watch, enjoy, and then walk away from. I I mean, it's not a 10 out of 10. It's not. 
Um, but I'm going to say a 7.2 out of 10. You know, solid acting. There are no notable characters, act actors, actresses in it. Um, plot line is solid. I think the issues that people are going to have with it, it's just the fantasy space elements. There, it's been done in different ways um, because Star Trek was there, because Star Wars was there, etc. So if you don't mind the budget they were working with to have a, a strong to storytelling, take a look at Serenity. Okay, uh, the way she was playing, I don't think I have seen it, but we get shows at the same time, maybe which you might remember. Yeah, yeah, like, look it up, look it up. Is this like a shopping center area? Kind of reminds me of the Muldra shopping line because of this here. But then you hit residential area, and that's weird. So, okay. This wind chill is crazy. So and this would be the one of those scenarios, just going back to Project Zomboid, where temperature would kind of suck, right? Uh, it's 17 degrees outside, there's an uncomfortable wind chill, and our insulation is actually pretty bad, but we're not fighting cold. You know, if you just look at our, our temperature as a whole, we're doing okay. A lot of that might have to do with the fact we've been swinging a sword and our body heat goes up. But realistically speaking, you know, other character types who don't have the outdoorsman trait, you might have to be combating the cold a little bit more than I have. Oh. I mean, can you break the window faster? Actually, this looks like it's just a food shop and I don't need to do grocery shopping. So we're okay. Okay, so have I come far enough down this road? I feel like I have. Maybe we turn back and get the truck. Ooh. Simply we wouldn't be outside. I agree with that statement. <laughs> oh, I do. You know, I really do. I'm not going to sit here and lie. If I was in a zombie apocalypse situation and the day, you know, came along and it was just fog, I'd be like, we're, we're staying at home. You know, we're just hanging out for a while. Even if you were like pressed for food, the human body can go for almost a month without food, assuming you have water. So, yeah. Fog, I can't see nothing. Visibility shot, nope, no thank you. Community center, ooh, let's take a look. I am trying to get a thousand kills for the day, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, uh, we, we had a solid thousand yesterday. Let's see if we can get a thousand today. I don't think I really will, but staying close to that number will help. I say uh, for the day, as in for the stream, not the zombie day. Zomboid day. Ooh, I didn't see y'all. How did y'all come from? Into thinking about beat. 20k by t no i still don't think i will oh uh, yeah i mean close is one thing and it's okay to get close but i i don't think we'll legitimately make the 20k before january 25th <laughs> oh but yeah I was trying to get inside this community center and like they're oh hey 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 and I just didn't see a door like parking lot great oh uh, did not see a door there's a window there like do we just smash the window Yo, so this is another spot that legitimately has an indoor um, fishing opportunity. So if you recall, there was a school, a high school. No, it was a community center as well. 
it's all the way down here that had a indoor uh, pull and because the game doesn't see a difference between that you can fish in this water so this would be water that is available 100% of the time that you could boil one you can fish in too and you never have to leave the building like you have everything you need from food to uh fresh water well almost fresh water you would just need power right uh is build 42 good as uh, build 42 going to have zombie running around i don't i don't know i doubt it Honestly, Build 42 isn't changing anything inherently about the zombies themselves. Just calling that out, right? Definitely adding features for the player, but the zombies are pretty much unchanged. I hear beating. zombie skeletons okay and if you mean like generically the zombies that spawn i'm sure they're gonna add you know new zombie models um but other than that yeah there you go no break lots of zombies there I know how I feel about this spot to fight in, but we'll see. We're good. And I feel like I call it. Yeah, I feel like we start, you know, heading back to my call. Oh, what's up, guys? something that, ooh, ooh where the hell did y'all come from why are y'all hanging out in these trees i couldn't see you at all good gracious i think that was spanish <laughs> no way did you break glass with katana in real life yes yes um most glass in buildings especially in the 90s probably wasn't like a double pane glass designed to prevent a body from going through it in one instance so like even now today you know from a safety perspective and a cost perspective you wouldn't have glass that couldn't be broken by a katana or a sledgehammer or an axe on the first maybe three floors you don't start putting things like double pane safety glass um, on a building until you're on like at least the fourth floor where if a person jumped out the window they would guarantee to die like that's the only time you start doing that right um so like even at my office you know i'm above the fifth floor all those are double pane sealed glass like that makes sense no katana's not gonna cut through that but on the first floor of your house or you know most establishments yeah even if it is plexiglass instead of regular glass sure it's still gonna cut you yeah uh, assuming it's a well-made katana let me put that out there an axe yes <laughs> oh a well-made katana depends on who made it you know laser cut probably not but you know we'll, we'll see all right we we walk it out we walk it out so we get back to the car we get home I think we call it. Uh, what did I start at? It was 15,000 something. It, it wasn't seven or eight, right? I mean, I'll go back to the chat later. But. And y'all heard nothing. Does the katana just cut the bodies that well? It was eight, really? 15,842? Crap. Oh, that means I'm under by like 300. 
Well, let's get to the car. There wasn't that many zombies in the mall as before. Agreed. Uh, the zombie count inside the mall was actually disappointing. I was expecting to, you know, go through all the ammo we had, had to pull out the katana and maybe get through a couple of spears. Like I was super feeling it and it just didn't happen. You know, so. Since then, I've had some trouble choosing violence like I, I, I wanted to. I'm legit walking. So one, I can see, you know, what might be coming at us. Two, because it doesn't make any sense for me to use all my stamina uh, running. But, you know, I'm trying to speed it up a little bit. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay, so let's take a look real quick. We are up here. I walked this all the way down here and I stopped there. So what I think I'll do... Bring it all the way down. I'll bring this all the way down and then turn. Like zombies come up to my windows. Thank you. Oh, I am so mad. Katana already broke. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Think about it. So this one is in my hands. We can attach a hunting life to this one. Okay, and then we do the same thing. Attach hunting knife to this one. And we're perfect. So we put one in the back. Sweet. Put one in hand. Sweet. Good to go. Sounds always fun. Yes, it didn't break in the huge group setting. Also true. I agree. So. All right, let's bring it down. Just like I got a little bit more time. So, yeah. Uh, let's eat something. Eat some bread again. Yay. Parking lot is to what? This is a very large parking lot. And I get anybody's attention. You know, anybody who might be hanging out in the area. Is it just that one group? Trying to reach one ki uh, one k kills per day. Yes. Yeah, it, just, it seems right at this point. <laughs> Good. Yes, there it is everyone to come and look for me because I'm looking for you I mean, fair it is we, we we pulled out the spear pretty easily all right something you know parking lot of death it's happening Ooh.
I, I honestly like it took a moment to like pay attention to what I was doing, so I stopped speaking. I apologize. <laughs> All right, just let that sink in for me real quick. I think I'm getting tired. The character exhaustion is being felt. I mean, we did swing a katana for a while before switching to the spears, but those instant kills with the spears working out tonight. Definitely feeling like a Ronin warrior. Is this the same parking lot that we hit our 100 days? No, it is not. <laughs> well, that, oh, ooh, game. All stuck in animation. Kill animations, please, but not the one for poking. You guys are getting faster. Yes, not letting me swing. Oh, that's not fair. That one broke way quicker than the first one. Let me reclaim. Good. And reclaim. Good. One on the back, one at hand. All right, in this. Thank you. We're coming still. There you go. There you go. Game, game, game. Okay, no longer holding my breath. And we, that turned into a death situation. Yay! Here, person. We, just under 200 isn't bad. Oh, man. Okay, wait, wait. So, we got a couple coming. We just catch our breath if we can. Maybe they'll go a different direction a little bit. Uh, I'll even kill the engine. Nah, y'all still gonna pass this one. That's all right. That's all right. Game. Get slightly damaged just now. Ooh. Sir, you get the axe. Still got coming. Game. 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 <laughs> Did you miss that shot, dude? Like. Exhaustion. <laughs> Exhaustion. Time to go. Time to go, go, go. Yeah, I was really hoping that we do it, but I, it's fine. It's fine. We, we're, we're not pushing our luck. You know, we're, we're trying to make it to 200 days. We're not just going to sit here and die being an idiot. So, average 100, uh, 1,000 a day or 1,000 a stream. Not, uh, it's not a hard requirement. <laughs> And I like to think of myself as a man who is willing to accept that I've hit my limits. I am willing to ask for help. 
and leave <laughs> when I'm not welcome somewhere. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate your time, everyone. I will see you next time. That's not me closing stream, mind you. I'm just saying I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Harvard requirement is surviving. Yes. Oh, there's an apartment complex right there. Oh, we're coming back. We're coming back. Interesting. I think this is our turn. Yeah. Yeah. We've been here. And then there's the restaurant suite. All right. So we're, we're back on roads that we know, which is good, which also means we should have some clarity. Oh, uh, as in like zombie clarity. Well, we shouldn't see a bunch of zombies on the road, but there could be some. So fair enough. Oh, uh, for a moment I was like, quick, send off, send off. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, uh, yeah, like, hey, you guys, it's been great. I'll catch you later. Click, like, no, no, that's not what <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, yeah, okay, let's, uh, we did good. We did good. It's been a, a, a solid stream. You know, we've had some fun and whatnot. So we'll get home, we'll clean ourselves up, we'll figure ourselves out. I think we should do an inventory of our food situation, specifically on the fresh food side of the house. Um, and yeah, still thinking of ideas on how to close up our 200 days. You know, yes, we cleared out the mall. We could honestly say that, so yay. But that's not an event, not anymore. I think the real question is, you know, where, where do we go for our last day in the 200 days survived. And it could really be just something real chillax. There's nothing wrong with that. But the last time we did this, it was the hospital. You know, we <laughs> we ventured all the way here to, to Louisville. We made it to a base situation. We even chose the location that we were at. We talked about choosing it. We didn't move into it until the 200 days started. But uh, then we cleared the medical center, you know, basically by ourselves, and that was fun. So, yeah. What's the send off? What is the send off? Think about it. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, we're super tired, so we're not going to do anything at the truck. Recognize that we lost the spear, so fair enough. Do we need to mark the things that we saw on the map? I will. I just want to get inside. Okay, so let's take a look. What did we do? We drove through here. Oh, uh, this is said restaurant. We turned up here. We worked our way down here. Community center. I am going to place this here just to mark that because it is available in terms of, you know, there's a water source inside of there. Oh, uh, other than that, we walk this down, right? Then we got into the parking lot that is right here and killed a bunch of zombies. Uh, I am still going to put this face here. So, yay. <laughs> Tell the zombies is still around that area. So we did drive away and say no thank you anymore. Don't know what this building is. I didn't really look at it. So it might be interesting to come back there and look. And then it still seems like these roads have like lots of commercial areas available so if i would just drive this square we're good that also means that these residential blocks are all probably apartment complexes so i mentioned before that when i was driving like hey that's an apartment complex make a note right but if this is an apartment complex and these are row homes that means these are row homes and this is an apartment complex and these are apartment complexes so this entire square right here might be something to really check out and see if I like I've never just gone through an apartment complex before so yay uh lights it still works so something to think about either way lots of fun to you know knock our way through from that and whatnot so yeah 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 cooking cooking food let's let's get some food in this we'll make a sandwich because we have bread available to us so Oh, uh, eggplants, bell peppers. Now, this is a interesting conversation for people. Would you put bell peppers on a sandwich? Now, this is a trick question. Uh, I'm just putting that out to you right now. 
Now, for those of you who are on YouTube or <laughs> if you're watching later on Twitch or the recording, whatnot, so on and so forth, the reason why I said this is a trick question is because if you've ever had banana peppers before, banana peppers are oh, very similar to bell peppers. So if you put banana peppers on a sandwich, you would enjoy uh, bell peppers as well. A lot of people, obviously, you probably would pickle them or um, do something to change their flavor or texture. You can cook them down a little bit, but a bell pepper on a sandwich actually makes a lot of sense. It's just a matter of presentation. Not a super fan of bell fish, wouldn't mind it. Yep. So it's true pito one presentation to which bell pepper would you use? I like red. So depending on the style of sandwich that I'm cooking for somebody, and yes, I would put it on a meat sandwich um, because fajitas are a thing, right? So in various other types of sandwiches, if you give it a quick, you know, um, fry uh, on an open pan, that works just fine. Season as you will and put it on the topping, just like grilling onions or grilling mushrooms. Do that with a bell pepper. It's actually pretty nice. All right, all right, all right. We had rain, so I think, let's take a look. If I, yeah, I've got water here, plenty of water. So let's, let's clean ourselves up. All right, and we are ridiculously tired. We did kill a bunch of zombies, so fair enough. Well, we'll sleep, no workout tonight. Take a look. I don't think we'll get to fitness level uh, seven before, you know, the end of our 200 days. I just don't, I don't see it happening at this point. Fog again. Goodness gracious. All right. So know that, you know, next stream we're walking into a fog. And I do think I mentioned before it'd be three streams. So Sunday and the next Wednesday, I do believe next Wednesday we'll hit the 200 days. So that's kind of where we're walking. But with that, you know, we're closing the night at 16,622 kills, which is good. We were short by, what, 180 something. If I'm rounding, obviously, I don't remember the exact number. But regardless of that fact, you know, we, we didn't hit the 1,000 for the stream. That's okay. It's not a big deal. We're still, you know, killing almost 1,000 zombies per stream. So fair enough. Uh, Nimble looks like it might actually make it to level four before we're done with the 200 days, though, for how much fighting we've been doing. The Long Blade almost made it to level eight. You know, we killed a katana once again. Unfortunately, I feel like we've gone through five or six katanas in the lifetime of our character and lots of machetes. So fair enough. Um, nothing else really stands out as, oh, we did get metalworking to level five because we repaired the truck a few times. So yay. Cleared the mall. You know, calling that out real quick. So that was a good experience here in Louisville. And we're still just living and thriving. We need uh, to think about our food situation. And this is probably going to be one of the first things I do when I come on stream again. These jars were from um, our previous base in West Point. I'm going to keep them still, probably pop them open. Uh, maybe in February. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. But we'll use the rest of the food that we have here and we need to do some foraging again. That was already called out um, once before and it's a good call out because we're running low on fresh food. That said, it doesn't mean that we don't have uh, perishable, uh, non-perishable items. We have stockpiles of it, stockpiles of it. If you were to go through every, you know, thing in here, that's fine. But recognizing just like, you know, uh, Misfit pointed out before, it's those processed items that have the chemicals that we try to avoid if we can. So maybe we have a day where we eat some ramen noodles. Cool. Maybe we have a day where we add some dried beans. Yes, I'm trying to avoid popping up in the cans unless we absolutely need. You know, those are the type of things that I like us to focus on. So fresh food when we can um, is still the point. Not to mention it'll still lead to more kills. And I know that because we have to drive through Death Valley to make it to the farm area. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's been a good stream. As usual, I appreciate everybody popping in. Uh, I love the conversation. I know we kind of get on tangents and whatnot. If you don't enjoy that, that's fine. Now, uh, hope you've enjoyed at least watching me kill and survive in Project Zombie. But if that's not it, fair enough. I will see you in the next one. But for the rest of you, I love you. I appreciate you. And every time we do something together, I have a good time. So hopefully you are too. That said... 
I did say the words already that I will see you in the next one. I'm going to do it again, right? So, um, yeah, I'm signing off for the night. And absolutely, I hope come Sunday, I do see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.